Hi there, and welcome to the Network Essentials series. Today, let's talk about failover, what it is, and in what cases do we use it. Failover is a backup operational feature that lets you set the order in which your router will maintain its internet connection. This function helps avoid network connectivity downtime in case of outages or disruption. As failovers are usually configured on different WAN interfaces of the router, let's look at an example to see the principle of this function. Here we have our RUT956 cellular router which has three WAN interfaces, mobile, Wi-Fi and wired connectivity options. The router can receive internet access from all three, but it needs a structured order of when each interface will activate to do its job. Failover is the feature that allows you to determine which of the three options will be the primary, secondary and tertiary source of the internet of RUT956. Failover is also the one that's responsible for automatically switching between these interfaces depending on the hierarchy you set. Let's say we choose to make the wired connectivity act as our primary internet source, mobile connectivity as the secondary, and Wi-Fi as our last resort of connectivity. Failover uses ping functionality to continuously monitor the connectivity of your network's primary internet source, in this case the wired interface, by sending ICMP requests to Google DNS server. If three consecutive ping requests, this being the default setting, fail to confirm the connectivity, the interface is considered to be down. In this situation, the router loses internet access from the primary source, making the failover automatically switch to the secondary source, which is mobile connectivity. And if that fails too, it will switch to the last resort of internet connectivity, Wi-Fi. When one of the lost connectivity options does become available, the router automatically returns to it, even if it could continue to obtain internet from Wi-Fi connectivity. However, this action depends on which of the two connectivity sources, wired or mobile, comes back up and which of them has a higher failover priority, as we said earlier. If our router uses Wi-Fi connectivity and sees that a mobile interface has become available, it will switch back to that connectivity source. If wired connectivity comes back up, the router will switch back to use that source of connectivity too. But if both mobile and wired connectivity sources come back up at the same time, the failover will switch back up to use wired connectivity. This is because this interface was set to have the highest priority in this hierarchy. While failover seems like a simple function, it sure brings a lot of value in cases where loss of internet is unacceptable and network redundancy is necessary. So hopefully this video has helped you to understand the magic behind it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more content on Network Essentials. And until next time.